show you guys this, but these three wires get connected to the starter, these black wires. Uh, this red one gets attached to the lead on your battery. Uh, make sure it is disconnected or you might have a nice little shock. Swing around town here. I uh, rev 607. <clears throat> Call down, they just checked in. They so, mentioned that there's something obstructing their action. Earlier, this was uh, seated off, and I had to go grab a swivel head to actually reach down in here. Otherwise, you're going to have a pretty difficult time getting to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these bolts back on and show you how to put on the pull start. All right, so this is the part that I was telling you about earlier that you need the swivel head for. To get to those underneath and this divot, you can't take this part off, even though there is there are bolts. Those are like cushion or like a um, shocks for the motor or uh, it takes a lot of the uh, vibrations away um, anyways this is all one metal pan so this is uh, not a good idea to try to take those off because you're not going to get very far um, so what you gotta do is you gotta use one of these. If you don't have one, I recommend you I highly recommend you go get one. So without further ado, let's get this done. Try to get this on there the best we can. I'm going to get these on and then I'll show you continue with the pull start all right my people it's the final countdown we are now to the point where we're going to attach the pull start after we line up these holes it should be able to catch So, find these holes. Grab one of our handy dandy bolts. Fasten that in there. I guess that's not actually the hole that I'm hitting. So now I'm gonna get it nice and close right here for a second. Let's feed that in. Alright, there she goes. There she goes. There she goes again. Get that started. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then we're gonna feed this one down here. All right. second here. This is extremely difficult to do with one hand. Not extremely difficult, just let me set this up so I can Anyway. 
anyways. Basically, you got three bolts that go in here. Um, I want to be right back and I'm going to show you once it's done. So then we got this starter on. And we got the pull starter on. That's what it looks like when it's all said and done. So, and I already went on ahead and I hooked up the battery. Because I don't think uh, I need to show too many of you how to hook up a battery. Or how to disconnect one for that matter. Um, all that's left now is to... Well... It's the moment of truth. So, only thing we do from here now is to give her a start. So we're gonna go ahead and try that out right now. Alrighty then. Trash cans. That one's filled with plastic already. So, now that we got all that done, we come over here. I want to pull that. Turn on the gasoline because I had it off. I'm going to close this. Lock that down and don't do this. But if this doesn't work today, then I'll be back in here tomorrow. But I do want to clean everything up. Why I say don't do this because. Because I'm not for certain that if this thing is going to start or not. It is old. It's not in the best of shape. But slowly but surely we're going to get her up and running. So, it's got plenty of gasoline. And this is going to come up. Okay, okay, we got it in place. Yay. <sighs> Neutral. Pull the choke on it. Wish me luck, guys. Well, we may have a dead battery, so we can at least check and see if the pull start works. <laughs> Alrighty. I want to close this door because it's going to get loud. So the pull start works, we 
looks like we may just have a dead battery now. So I'm gonna hook that up. To the, I'm gonna pull the battery off probably tomorrow and get that on the charge. And hopefully that electric starter works. But right now, we're gonna go for a spin. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. Got it. Hear that carb? There are tools in the back. Make sure that's not going to pop out. Well, there is a way to tell if the battery's dead. We got lights right here. And it is dead. So it may not be that we messed up. More than likely, it is just a dead body. But, here we go. Not the same in reverse. I can stand in the hands of the air and the tires too. Just keep in mind also that I did say that this thing is not in the greatest conditions. So, that's how you get the starter bond. Full start and electric start. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this garage. Okay, guys, this is Red Two Nine Zero Two, aka Red Knight, signing off. Peace out! <laughs>